Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. This photograph looking across a fjord in Norway is an excellent example of how horizons are an optical illusion created in our eyes based on our perspective as we look across a flat surface and nothing to do with any physical or geographical curvature of that surface. Uh, this is on the website at optics.co.uk and we'll have a look at uh, a description of the conditions from the photographer and a scientific explanation of what is actually happening in this photograph. You'll notice a very kind of hard edge here of the water uh, with the band of mirroring on top, uh, which is mirroring the embankment on the other side, uh, uh, showing uh, the houses and uh, the trees and bushes being mirrored. So here is our actual horizon line uh, with the uh, everything mirrored beneath it. And uh, we will see how even this hard edge that we see here is not actually the surface. Uh, this was taken looking uh, six kilometers across the Son Sundal Fjord. And the photographer says that we had rather cold weather, very close to freezing and a breeze. Driving home from work, uh, 1330, I noticed pronounced inferior miraging of the shore details along the opposite coastline. As my route dipped and rose along the fjord, the phenomenon was visible only when I was low above the water. This fjord has, to my knowledge, never been known to freeze, and there has been reports that recent sea temperatures are warmer than before. I therefore assume that the sea surface was considerably warmer than the air temperature and that a somewhat steeper temperature gradient exist existed close to the water surface than higher up. And we can see here an explanation of what's actually happening to the light as it comes into our eyes. Uh, as seen by the eye, the shore appears reflected at the vanishing line V, which is, of course, the observer's eye level, the vanishing point or band of convergence <coughs> right here. Okay. Continuing on. The picture was taken with a 300 millimeter lens, four meters above sea level across six kilometers of sea. Houses and shore features close to the water are mirrored upside down. We can, we can see that here, the mirroring. The mirroring occurs not at the water level, but higher up at what is named the vanishing line. So that's here eye level illustrated here with this line. The distant shoreline below the vanishing line is not visible. So here, this shoreline, although it's within the range of the observer's view, it is obscured. It is not seen because we have this coming down from A and B blocking the mirroring is actually blocking what we would be able to see of the shore on the other side. So this gives us the illusion that there is some kind of hump of curvature because we cannot see where the shore, the opposite shore, meets the water. It is simply blocked beyond the horizon or mirage. So we cannot see it, even though it would be well within our line of sight. So the mirage is an inferior mirage because the image is below the real object. Light passing at low angles across the different temperature air layers is refracted. So that rays coming from the opposite shore appear to be coming upwards. So... Again, this is why uh, we would have the argument that the horizon appears to drop 
as we look across and would be used as an argument to say that the horizon is below eye level when in fact this is simply an illusion of mirroring and of course when we're looking at clouds or something like that we would not really be able to very easily distinguish this mirroring. The ray diagram attempts to show what is happening but like all mirage ray diagrams the vertical scale has to be grossly exaggerated. All possible rays between the eye and the distant shore are shown here. So we've got the rays A, B, C, and they're coming up from here as well. Two rays from A reach the eye. The upper one is slightly curved downwards towards the warmer air. The lower ray from A is sharply curved and appears to the eye to come from shore details reflected by a mirror. So here's point A, and we've got this one line coming down gradually, and then another one that is a very sharp decline, creating this mirroring, which is blocking off the bottom edge of the shore on the opposite side. Uh, rays from point B lower down here, do the same. Position C is different. Only one ray reaches the eye. So position C is uh, the vanishing line. Eye level again. Rays from lower down the shore cannot reach the eye at all and so it is invisible. So here is our eye level and below that we have what would appear to be curvature blocking off everything below. Okay. The level C is the level of the mirage vanishing line. The real view and inverted mirage view join at the vanishing line and the eye can see no details of the scene that are below it. Okay, so there you go. Perspective is the curve, the imaginary curve. This blind spot behind or beyond where the mirroring takes place is what people believe or perceive as curvature when in fact all that's happening is the mirroring taking place above that and coming down below eye level or the vanishing line is what is creating this optical illusion. Perspective is the imaginary curve. Thank you very much.